Hi, I'm Tatiana Allen and welcome back to the Mustang News. Um, today we'll be talking about concepts that lead to supply and demand in the shoe industry. The demand for shoes has been on the rise, which has been which has caused an increase in price. We can go over to the board and I can show you what that all means. In regards to demand, um, as the demand increase, it would move over to the right. And therefore there will be an increase in price. When the supply decreases, it's going to move to the left or shift to the left, and then it's gonna cause an increase in the price as well. So these concepts are just a generalization, but they can get a little more difficult to explain. So we're gonna take it over to Richie. That all seems pretty straightforward. Supply changes have a great effect on price, and also it seems that demand shifts price as well. But I wonder, does supply always look like that? Is there always a predictable amount of supply? To dive deeper into the effects supply has on price, here's my interview with shoe owner, Louie. Hey, Louie. How are you doing today? Good, thank you. How about you? Good. Can you tell us a little bit about the shoes you bought? You bought yeah, them? so I just bought these off Nike a couple months ago. They're the new Kylie's. I bought them for 160 I love them. They sold out pretty quickly. I was glad I bought them when they did. I really wanted these. Awesome. So are you looking at the selling the shoes? Yeah, so I was talking to one of my friends and these shoes are pretty cool. They're actually a collab with a tennis player. So they can get I can get a pretty good penny for them if I want to resell them. So how much is the shoe selling for? Anywhere on any website you check, it can be going from anywhere from two hundred to two hundred and fifty dollars. Have you worn the shoes at all? No, I haven't. If you wear the shoes, the price that you can resell them at will go down and I don't want to hurt the shoes and the value, so I've been keeping them crystal clean. So why can't you just buy them from Nike? So what I was saying before is because these shoes are collab, so it's between Nike, Kylie Irvin, and a tennis player, these are limited edition shoes, so they've only released a certain amount. So I got them, and because they've only released a certain amount, a lot of other people want them. Gotcha. So it sounds like there's a specific amount of supply that's been released. Yep. And the demand is very high for them. Okay. Well, good luck in your resale process. Thank you for taking the time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Richie Abrascava, Mustang News. So it sounds like we're dealing with a more complex type of um, supply and demand. So as demand increases, it shifts to the right. And then the price would then increase by a little. But if we come over to an, an elastic market, when we increase the demand over here, the increase of price is a little more dramatic because of a fixed supply. So because this is fixed supplies, this means that the supply um, curve won't move. It would just stay the same. And I hope that this was a clear interpretation of how supply and demand both um, affect the market of limited edition shoes.